while examining the abdomen, you should ex expose the parts completely from simple cyst pubis to GPO sternum. And uh, imaginary, there are nine quadrangles. The one vertical line from the subcostal level to mid inguinal line, and another vertical line, mid inguinal line to subcostal. Then another line from subcostal to subcostal, and another is from the pubic tubercle to pubic tubercle. So this way there are nine, nine quadrants. quadrants: epigastrium, left hypochondrium, left lumbar, left iliac, suprapubic, right. Uh, right leg fossa, right lumbar and right hypochondria. Now, while you inspect the patient, see whether there is distinction, visible loops, any previous scar of any operation, etc., pigmentation, depigmentation, etc. That has to be examined and seen, that is inspection. Then, when patient starts, where, with patient where Complaints are there, that quadrant should be test last of all. But in this patient, for example, there is no only complaint that he complained only pain at this side that is uh, an umbilical to uh, left lumbar. So you must start examining and palpating from the right leg fossa. You first put your hand with a soft hand that is known as superficial palpation. Yes, sir. Then every quadrant you palpate with a round uh, movement of the fingers, flat of fingers. Yes, sir. They should, you should not poke the fingers to the room. This way you go, see first superficial, then deep. Second attempt is deep. Patient, there is a palpation of the sigmoid column. You just feel. There is a cord like feeling yes, sir. here. Yes, sir in the sigmoid column. So, this is the case of probably IBS and now there was a spasm and now it has relieved. That cord like feeling has gone. Just see. So, there is a lot of spasm. So, that's why he is complaining pain. Yes. That cord like feeling has gone away. So, once you have palpated, see the tenderness. When if there is any pain while you are palpating, see the face of the patient. Uh, when I was palpating this air, patient has some wincing effect. Yes. So there is a tenderness in the left leg fossa. So that is there. Then for start percussion, uh, in percussion you start from here, yes, sir. upwards, downwards, and see normally there is a tympanic sound all over the abdomen. But once you suspect there is ascites, then there is a dullness and for a small ascites you turn the patient like this and see from this side to this side so the tympanic note is maintained so there is no free flow. There are other tests for ascites that is knee elbow position also there is so that we will examine later on. Now auscultate the patient for sounds. So there are normal sounds, you must have a bit of listening normal sounds. They are just small kut, kut sounds and then other sounds depending on the patient. Now you see, there is a hyperperistalsis in this case. You, you will feel a lot of gurgling. Since this is the patient of IBS, so there is a hyper, lot of sounds are there. Then no abdominal examination is complete until unless you do PR or PV examination. PV examination ladies and PR examination both ladies and males should be done. So abdominal examination is never considered complete without PR. Collective examination. That should be done. Thank you.